It's time for a Drummer Nation. Boss with Stan Moore. Yes, indeed. In town with Galactic. Yes, indeed. Great to see you again. Great to see you, my man. Always. You and I have been friends and business partners for so long. We've done so many videos. I want to just get right to what's up. What's up? Well, I have just released my StantonMooreDrumAcademy.com, and I am pretty much beside myself with excitement. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while, and it's something that that we finally have gotten live and I'm it's an interactive community that basically I can be your guide and your consultant if you like the way that I present stuff then you can come here and I have a full curriculum from beginner to intermediate to advanced Mark Wessels wrote the book Fresh Approach to Drum Set I filmed all those video lessons so I want to be targeting private teachers as well as individuals but target the private teachers say, let me provide you the curriculum and you and your students can subscribe and then I will be your guide. I will help guide you in your both your curriculum and anything else you want to know. So there are guys on the forum who are like, hey, that sticking that you played on, on this track, here's my version of it with my band. And I said, great, that's very cool. You played a fill in there that was awesome write me out that fill and share it with everybody. So then we look at the fill and I said, well, here's where that fill came from. It came from John Bonham's fill in Stairway to Heaven, but John Bonham got that from Max Roach's Big Sid for Big Sid. So I don't have to put everything into a book and wait for it to get published. I can just spit out ideas and it's a very freeing process and it's a very interactive process and you know you and I have hung out so many times you and I can just sit there and just talk about drums and drumming and oh well did you have you heard this yet oh have you heard that so I'm able to do that in this forum so it's like me and you and however many guys are hanging out online at the time there we is. can just talk and just spit out ideas and share ideas and it, it's super exciting for me it's like a drummer's club or drummer's lounge ongoing. Could you try to get excited about it? I know, right? <laughs> but it's so fun for me because it's what well, yeah. I, I do all the time anyway. And now, you know, so you don't have to be live on it. You come in, maybe I said something three days ago that you're like, oh, that's so cool. Well, I have a question about that. Uh, and then I'm, I spent the last year and a half or so teaching myself finale. So now I'm loving working out these worksheets and the guys on the forum, my students, they help me come up with ideas. They'll tell me, "Well, I've been trying to, do, I've been trying to attack this weakness." I said, "Well, I can come up with a worksheet that'll attack that right now." And then guys say, "Well, have you tried starting that sticking here?" I said, "Well, I've never tried that." I sit down at the drums, I improvise, I come up with a worksheet, put it out there, like that's really cool. So it's they truly come a up community. With stuff. Yeah, the it really people can is. work with their own their own teacher. Yes, and also with you. Yes. And the ex information is exchanged almost in real time. Yeah. Where they're feeding you and you're feeding them and everybody's offering perspective and it's a whole sense of community. Yeah. That has a lot more interaction than anything I've ever heard of. Yeah. I mean, it's, I've been wanting to make it just like us and all of our buddies. And some of these guys are guys I've met here, I've met there. Some of them, one guy who's very active on the forum, Nick, he lives in Greece. Another guy, Ermin. Uh, is on there. He's very active on the forum. I've got a guy uh, who's from China who lives in China now. So I've got guys all over. It's like some of those legacy hangs we've all been part of. Yes. I know Hanging you and I have had our share with many other drummers. Yeah, me, but now they could be all over the world. Exactly. So you and I, as you know, but telling the people who are watching, we've hung out in hotel lobbies till 4 or 5 in the morning with brushes and a brush-up pad. A bunch of drummers. With me, you, Jason Sutter, 
Daniel Glass and we'll make hangs like that with Hammer when we can too. And that's how I learn. That's how I've learned a lot of stuff. Is well, yeah, I took a lesson and I, you know, so I checked this out. I'm like, well. oh, that's really hip. So it's like that ongoing. And now with guys, every guy's got, you know, either an iPhone sure. or a Zoom camera or something, and they'll post a, a video of themselves. And then I can post a video of myself, and then we can all write stuff out and just post it in the forum. So now we can do that in okay. So how do I participate? World. How do you participate? Go to StantonMoreDrumAcademy.com, and you can sign up, get a login, you subscribe, and it's a monthly subscription, or you can buy the yearly subscription. There's some freebies there too, right? Yeah. To wet the appetite. Oh sure. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of. Uh, previews already up on StantonMoore.com. I mean, StantonMoreDrumAcademy.com. Right. When you go there, you get to see a bunch of the previews, right? See what it looks like, see what it's about. And there's a link from your own website, StantonMoore.com. Yes. And then every month, I'm doing Beat of the Month, where a guy will submit a beat, and then people are submitting beats. I pick one each month, and then I film also my variation of it. Yeah. I put them together. I put them on social media so those guys get a little bit of attention. Can you show me something? Yeah, sure. So while, here's, while we're here looking at it, here's the beat of the month from October, and I'm just about to go live with the beat of the month from November. So here is Ian Molinaro Thompson, and here is his beat. So that's Ian's beat, and then here is my version. And I filmed this in the front room of my house, and I want it to be gorilla style. I want exactly. it to be, I filmed the one yesterday at Memphis Drum Shop. So I want to be filming it on the go, wherever well, that's I happen to be. I don't want this to look like seeing it. Right, exactly. You know, it's, it's supposed to be Yeah, it's where, where we live, which is all over the place, on yeah. the road, different places. Well, I wish you best luck with that. This is going to be fantastic. Man. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. and. We, every two weeks, I'll be posting new lessons. So the new lessons are the things that I would have filmed for a new DVD or book, but instead I filmed it myself and now I'm putting it out. It's more immediate. You don't have to congeal it into a whole concept and make it into a cohesive book. And, right. And, and then when wait guys... Three years to get it together. Exactly. And as I post a few lessons, if guys say, you know, I really wish you would do a lesson on this. Okay, mm -hmm. great. You know, and I can really do that. So let me show you here. The first lesson that I did was about my buzz rules because people keep asking me about that. So here's... Very uh, integral to the New Orleans style. Yes, and now I talk about how I developed my buzz rolls, five things I did. So here they are, and again, I taught myself finale, and so everything shows up, the notation shows up on the screen, but then I'll also provide you with a worksheet. Over the years, I've gotten a lot of questions about my buzz rolls. So I want to go ahead and share some of the things that I've done to develop those. In almost every masterclass, clinic, and first lesson I've ever done, I get this question. And there's basically five things that I've worked on to develop my buzz rolls. So I would like to share those with you now. The first thing that I've worked on to develop the buzz roll is this exercise that I do that goes from triples to doubles to singles and I'm gonna do this at about 120 and I'm gonna do it with the metronome I suggest that you use the metronome as well we'll start it at 120 just to show you what the idea is and then I'm gonna break it down get a little slower and show you how to build these triples so yeah the notation I spent some time with learn how to do it and it's it was a little bit of a hair pulling uh experience, I had the same experience with, with you know, final cut yeah experience. yeah exactly it's it's stuff a, we have to do these exactly days. it's a learning curve and then each lesson i post 
the worksheet that goes with wow. it because you don't want to have to look at the, the video every time you want to practice this stuff. Mm -hmm. So people can print out this PDF that I've written out. And there's also a little summary that I write out as well so that it reminds you of all the things, the five things that we did, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, you can also go back. I'll be showing you which lessons from the fresh approach from the curriculum apply to these lessons. If you're not to this level yet, well, then you need to go back and spend a little bit more time with lesson, whichever lesson applies to, to this. So now, really, I want this to be not only a community, but almost like a one-stop shop, because teachers can come here, they can buy the book, and then watch all these videos, and that's a full curriculum. So in January, Mark Wessels and I will also be filming the video lessons to his Fresh Approach to Snare Drum. And then I'm writing out all of these snare drum etudes, and I say that in quotes because they're disguised as snare drum etudes. What it is is my drum set vocabulary, and then I'll use maybe two rudiments put together, right? So people ask me, what is that? Well, I reduce it down and I disguise it as there a snare drum. There is a lot of correlation between snare drum, rudimental, not really rudimental, but swinging, grooving, funky hip snare drum that just crosses onto the drums. Sure, yeah. In, in New Orleans. Yeah, and you need to develop the snare drum stuff to be able to do some of this stuff. So soon we'll have that curriculum on the site as well. So snare drum curriculum, drum set curriculum, and then what once you have that, the snare drum stuff built up to a certain level, then I'll start giving you these snare drum etudes. You learn the etude, and then I show, well, now you put the bass drum here. Now you take their hands and you put it over here. And I don't want to overstate New Orleans too much. This is drumming. Oh, yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah. This is not, yeah, and I have, a, I have a, a reputation for focusing on the New Orleans stuff, but I would like to think that I also spread out into you have a jazz trio. Yeah. And then I also, you know, I've studied a lot of a lot of drumming over the years. And so with this site, it's not just focusing on performance stuff. You've got all your fundamentals and the fresh group stuff. And then soon you'll have all your you know, all your snare drum fundamental stuff there. You're too. a metal album, is there? Yeah. Corrosion and conformity R&B stuff. Yeah. Fun yeah. stuff, jazz stuff. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. It's all real, man. It's all real. Well, great man, thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk to you about all this and and I'm really excited about it. Well, I can't wait to see you every time I do because you've always got another quantum leap to show me. Cool. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. Yes, indeed. Thank you, brother. All right, my man. I think we got it. Yes, indeed. Now we go eat. This is your host, Michael Vosbein, and I want to thank our friends at Atlanta Pro Percussion, Danette Classic Drums, Sabian Cymbals, and Classic Drummer Magazine. We'll see you again in two weeks.